Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, another general data science Q&A video. And recently one of my subscribers saying, Krish, I know machine learning, I know deep learning. You know, I really wanted some of the projects. Then I told him, yeah, fine, go and check out my live project playlist. There I've actually created so many projects, you know. Then he's actually saying, Krish, don't you have any ready-made project which you have probably created and put up in your GitHub and you can share that to me. Now guys, one very important point that I really want to make in this video is that please try to make at least one project completely end to end if you are preparing for data science. I'll tell you why there are so many reasons for it guys. I suppose that guy actually asked me, one of my subscribers actually asked me about the project I could have given him, you know, and I have already so many projects that I have already created in my YouTube channel, okay, live projects and all where I've explained completely from end to end till the deployment. But I still insisted that guy, he also said that he has watched most of my projects that are present in the playlist. But I still insisted that please try to implement those projects by your own, completely end to end, completely considering the life cycle of a data science project, probably considering a new use case, you know. Now, why did I say them? Why, why did I say him this particular thing that I'm going to discuss in this particular video? If you really want to become a data scientist, guys, at least implement one project by your own. Take up any, pick up any problem statement, try to take it, try to implement it completely from end to end. Why I'm actually saying you this is that from this past two months, I've been talking to so many people who have made successful career transition, guys, towards data science. And I usually ask them what, what type of questions they have asked you in the interview. What kind of questions they have actually asked? I just asked him this. They were pretty much focused on basics and they told them to explain their specific project and all the questions revolved around their implementation of the projects guys. Okay. And those subscribers had implemented their own project. Then they started telling them, they started explaining them with their own amazing ideas that they had. What are the problems that they actually faced? How did they try to solve it with respect to all the life cycle? They tried to explain this particular part and they explained it in an amazing manner. But understand how could they explain it? They were able to explain it because they solved that specific project. It was POC project guys, but understand they solved each and everything over there. And as they went on solving more and more difficulties they were facing. So in one of the interview, the candidate started saying that he has faced so and so difficulties in that specific project and he had actually really faced it. And how did he solve? He tried to explain it to the interviewer. All the depth, in-depth things that he really wanted to go into that specific project, he went and he tried to explain him. And there the interview got an idea that yes, this guy has actually worked in this particular project in this particular amazing manner. So this is the reason why I'm telling you guys, don't just be dependent on ready-made projects. Instead, after learning data science, try to do at least one project end to end because, and try to implement in such a way that you're considering you're giving importance to every life cycle of that data science project, probably feature engineering, data analysis, EDA part, feature selection, model creation, hyperparameter tuning, model deployment, dockerization, containerization, retraining of the model, everything needs to be considered. Because there you'll be able to find out more and more challenges and how did you first actually solve those challenges, you'll be able to tell the interviewer. And if you are able to tell this many things, if somebody is able to tell me this many things, I will definitely be impressed, right? Why not the interviewer? So it is a sincere request specifically for freshers. I've seen many freshers asking that, Krish, can you give me a ready-made project? I know you have developed this kind of project. Can I use that same exact project in my resume? I told, yes, use it. But at least try to implement it, right? Many people are just dependent on that, you know, home cooked, ready-made project. They'll just give you, you'll just see, okay, this is, this is, this is what is done. Trust me, you'll not learn from that much. Instead, if you take a new problem statement, you try to solve it completely end to end. I showed, I, I also created one video where I took a Kaggle problem statement. I completely solved it with an end to end solution. Similarly, you also consider taking a Kaggle project and then solving it completely end to end till the deployment is actually happening, right? Think of a data collection strategy, probably that kind of data you'll be able to get it from some third party API. Try to see it 
and try to extract that particular data also. Try to use some cloud platforms like AWS and all. All the videos I've actually uploaded, it's all you have to create a new project. You have to do all the life cycle of a data science project and you have to see what all challenges you are facing. When you see all those kind of challenges, then only you'll be able to learn more, right? Then only you'll be able to tell to the interviewer that I have faced these particular challenges. I have solved in this particular way. Trust me, you'll never stop while explaining that. I've seen many candidates, you know, whatever projects I've given, they're just written there in the resume, even though they are getting called. But while explaining, they're facing problems. The reason is that simple. They've not even tried implementing it again. Right? So this is the most important tip and technique that I really want to give. Please try to solve at least one end to end project. Then only you'll be able to explain them in an amazing way. This is the most important point that I really want to say, guys. This will definitely help you to crack any data science interviews. And this is the conversation that I'm having from many people who have made a successful career transition from past one to two months. And that is the reason why I'm making this kind of general Q&A videos, guys, to make you understand what is the right approach to crack the interviews. So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you're not a subscribe, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you. One and all. Bye-bye.